Hello there. In today's video, I'm excited to introduce you the official WhatsApp flows. I will explain how you can easily create one using Libromi Connect and why this new feature holds immense potential for enhancing communication. WhatsApp has recently launched its official flow feature, making a significant advancement in how you can interact on the platform. Libromi stands at the forefront, being one of the first platform to offer you a no-code flow builder. This innovative tool empowers you to harness the full capabilities of official WhatsApp flows without needing any technical expertise. With what WhatsApp flows, you can design native forms that spans multiple pages incorporating a wide array of form inputs. This feature opens up new possibilities for engaging with your audience, collecting information and providing tailored response based on user inputs. Before starting to create new flow, first let's see a working flow in action. For that, I have shared my WhatsApp on the screen and sending the shortcode to trigger this particular chatbot. I have created a shortcode for this chatbot which is FLTST. The chatbot started the conversation with a quick reply message and when I click on get a flow message button, I'm expecting a flow message. So this is how a flow message will appear on the WhatsApp. When I click on the sign up button, it will open a pop-up immediately within WhatsApp. It is a native feature, it's actually not going to any web browser, it's opening within WhatsApp. Now you can see it's a form. The first field is full name, I can enter my name here which is 7. And the second field is business name, I'm entering Libromi LLC. And next is email address which is support at the rate Libromi.com. And next is phone number I'm entering and then clicking on the continue button. And then it will immediately open the next page within the same wizard. Actually it is happening happening promptly without any delays. Now on the next page, it's asking your use case. What all our features are you planning to use? So this is a checkbox. I'm selecting multiple features here and there is an optional field for opting the updates from Libromi. So I'm selecting it and clicking done. And then it immediately send the information. Then from the chatbot, I have created a message to send the data we entered return back to the user. So it's returned back to the user on this conversation. And that's how a basic flow works. Before start creating a WhatsApp flow, you need to make sure your business manager is verified otherwise you cannot access this feature so make sure and then start creating the flows to create a whatsapp flow first you have to sign up to Libromi connect and subscribe to your package and then you need to make sure your business manager is verified after that you can navigate to the channels page and then click on the flows and then you can see the flow i created earlier Right now, I'm not creating a flow from the scratch. If you want to create a flow, you can click on create a flow and give a name and give a category and continue building the flow. In this video, I will explain the flow which I created earlier. Then you can easily figure out how to create one because it is super simple. So I'm clicking on Libromi underscore sign up, which is the flow I've explained on the demo. So to edit that, click on edit button and it will open with the screen to edit the flow. Right now, this flow cannot be edited because it's already published. So in the form builder, I will explain the parts and steps to build a flow. So here there is one part which is a preview. So when you create a flow using the available options here, the preview will be available here immediately. And then these are the pages available. Right now there is a sign up page with the basic option and there is a thank you page with some other options. So you can add multiple pages by clicking on add new pages. And within the page, you can add form elements by clicking on the add content button. Since the demo flow I created already published, which cannot be edited. So that I'm creating a new flow to explain the features. To create a new flow, click on the create flow button and then give a unique name, which will be affiliate partner sign up in this case. And I'm adding a category as sign up, for example, and then click on submit. It will open a canvas to create a flow using a no-code builder. Here as you can see, a welcome page is already created with the demo data. Now I can edit this data. To edit this one, just click here and simply change the label. It will be sign up as a partner, for example. And next is I'm adding more fields. Like if you want to add more field, click on the add content button. And then I want to collect the name of the user. So which will be text input. And I can click here and edit the label, which will be your full name. And as a help desk, I can give like enter your full name, please. So similarly, I can collect the email ID using text input again. So which will be uh, instead of a text, it's use an email ID, which means I can validate the user input. So there are options like text, password, email, number, passcode, phone available. So this will validate the input accordingly. So here I can collect the email ID and now Let's add another field, which is a text area. So here I can collect a message from the user, write your message, for example. And next is a date picker, company founded date, for example. So I can collect the date from the user. Now there are enough details for the first page of this wizard. Now let's create another page by clicking on add new button. So here I'm adding summary, for example, and click add. And then 
you can start building the second page here so you can add another text like more info needed and then we can explore other fields available here which is in selections this is radio button group if you use the radio button group we can enable some options available to the user and user can only select one option from the available list type of agency and this can be an IT company and next is a marketing agency for example and the another one is freelancer and next is selection checkbox group which mean user can select multiple options so for example i can add interested areas for example so this will be bulk broadcasting and next is whatsapp chatbot and another one is whatsapp flows and next one is team inbox and the next form input available here is selection drop down so which will be like a actual drop down with a multiple option select country for example and you can give option like india uae usa that's it for now and now let's test this flow we have to save the form first my contact is already saved here so that i can simply test the flow and wait for the message so the test flow message is appeared on my whatsapp and then if i click on it it will open up with the fields so here you can see the full name email id and the message option and the company phone number let me fill the details so this will be and then company founder date i'm selecting this is the date input you can see so next options appear immediately so the type of company which is an it company here i can only select single option as you can see so I selected it company and then interested area i'm selecting all the features and then selecting the country from the drop down and next simply continue so it is simple as that now after creating a flow you can use the flow within the chatbot if you have watched the previous video you know how to create a whatsapp chatbot so now let's see how you can use the flow within the chatbot for that i'm editing the previous flow created it, simply detaching the edge and you can find the flow option here simply drag and drop to the canvas and select from the button get a flow message to the group four and click within the flow and select the flow so here in this case it is affiliate partner sign up so if i click there an option to sync will appear and then click on that and after syncing it will show the available variable which can be saved from the user response so here it will be let's see so first option is the full name from the form and next is email id if you want to save the full name into variable and use somewhere else in the chatbot you can select the variable and then save as a full underscore name variable and the next option is email id similarly you can give a email name and save in a variable and then the user message can be saved into a message variable and then you can see your interested area available here which also can be saved in as a variable similarly you can save all the variables and use anywhere in the chatbot and if you wanted to send the same data to separate crm you can use the rest api send the data or you can use the google sheet integration and write the same data in a google sheet so simply using libromic connect you can build a very advanced chatbot if you have any queries free feel to comment on this video and if you want to create a chatbot log into libromic.com and sign up for an account thank you